Flash! What's up guys? So I'm Mike Rose from Metabolic Aliens, and I want to give you a little update of what my medical mishap has been in the last couple days. So on Saturday, May 23rd at 4 a.m., I was admitted to the hospital. I woke up with incredible chest pain. I could barely breathe. I had a really shortness of breath. So I woke my parents up and told them I, I demanded I need to go to the hospital because I felt so terrible and it hurt so much in my chest. So luckily I did because when I got there, they did a bunch of tests, EKGs, and all this heart stuff. And it turns out that I had myopericarditis. Now pericarditis is when there's an infection in the lining of your heart and myocarditis is when there's an infection in the heart muscle. So of course, with my luck, I got Mary Pi Peri myopericarditis, which is an infection of both. So they didn't really know exactly what the cost of this was. I'm 19 years old. I was 19 years old. Give that a sec. I was 19 years old. Like, why the hell am I having heart problems? So they did a bunch of other tests, and they didn't discover what the actual cause was until the next day when they did x-rays, ultrasounds, EKGs, echocardiograms, and it turns out what on an x-ray that they didn't see prior, meaning the day before, but they saw today that I had pneumonia. So of course, all that inflammation in my chest, it actually targeted, which is a, a bacterial infection, the inflammation in my chest, the pneumonia, that caused a viral infection in the lining and muscle of muscles of my heart. So and I guess it all works in hand to hand. I'm not a doctor. I don't know exactly what how it all goes and how it's all intertwined, but Basically, I was in a lot of pain with the heart stuff, and then I felt like crap from the pneumonia. I had 103 fever. So I was in the hospital from May 23rd, 4 a.m. to May 26th at 3 p.m. So it was a long stay. I hated it with a passion. I was getting blood taken like a freaking heroin addict. I was... I had three IVs. I was on so many antibiotics, and I had morphine for painkillers for the heart problem. And, well, I'm very glad to be home, but... It actually turns out that Sunday was my birthday, my 20th birthday, so I spent my 20th birthday in the hospital with 103 fever and pneumonia and some two heart infections. So that kind of sucked, but my buddies came in, they brought me a cake with an alien on it, that was pretty awesome. But I just wanted to let all the viewers know like what was going on with me and all my powerlifting plans now. So they said I should not be powerlifting for a month. Now when they said that, I looked at them and I was like, I'd rather frickin' die. Now, that being said, I have to be smart. I listened to my body on Friday. Friday was the first time I skipped the gym because I literally felt incapable of going. And I've gone on strep throat to the gym. Don't judge me. I've gone on so many different like illnesses. I wiped down my machines. Don't worry. But um, and then this was a, this was really the first time I just could not make it. I knew something was wrong. And it turns out if I actually went, I could have had a heart attack. So that's freaking scary. 19 year old having a heart attack. Screw that. So I'm going to take it back. I can gradually start coming back. They said weightlifting is the last thing I can do because it puts the most strain on the heart. So I'm going to start doing just some. Next week I'll be getting into biking and stuff. This will be, and then I'll slowly start working in the weights and really gradually come back. But my plan is this is not going to be holding me back. This is a setback for sure and it will set me back but when I come back and at full strength and like 100% healthy I'm gonna freaking bust my ass to get back to where I was and then surpass that. This is not gonna hold me back. I want people to understand that. This I take this as a great motivational time for me. See this is a time now I can take to making videos, tutorial videos, exercise videos, specific exercise videos and stuff like that for you guys and, and because I can't focus on myself a power Thing, so I might as well turn it into a motivational point where I can really try to work extra hard to try to get more content out and really just try to focus on myself getting healthy while I can do all this other stuff. So while I get back into the, my powerlifting gear, I'm going to be eating, I'm actually going to be eating like a lot more to try to keep up my weight. I lost 10 pounds in the hospital in four days. That freaking sucks. So I'm, I guess I'm willing to sacrifice a little aesthetics to keep the most, the majority of my strength as much as I can, and keep my weight up. I don't care about my weight. I just want to have that strength, those carbs when I come back, that I'm able to really get back in the strength quickly instead of coming so weak because I've lost so much weight and muscle mass. Screw that. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm gonna be 
I can't paddle it for really a month, but I will be getting videos out as much as possible, doing all sorts of tutorials and some other kinds of videos. You guys will see as we put them, upload them. And I wanted everyone, I wanted everyone to know what happened to me, and just want to know I'm doing much better already. I'm gonna come back as strong as possible. So never let something like this stop you from getting to your goals. All I see right now is it's a minor setback. I see my goals still, and I will freaking surpass them when I come back. All right, guys. And Block Aliens out. Mike Rosa, subscribe to the channel. And everyone who's new with my birthday, thanks for the birthday wishes. Screw hospitals. I don't ever plan on going back. <sighs> Time to make some games while I'm sitting on my ass. I'll try to do the best I can to motivate.